Hello and welcome to another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes and this is the show where we talk with university administrators, staff, faculty, students, alumni, or we talk with people from, uh, with, from throughout the state of Delaware and beyond about some of the things that are going on in the world or some of the great things that are going on at the Delaware State University. Today we have LaShawn Pryor, who is the Director of Corporate and Foundation Relations here at Delaware State University under the Division of Institutional Advancement. And I brought him on today to talk about a big event that's taking place in December. What's going on in December, LaShawn? So December, thank you for having me. Um, so December 9th is our seventh annual President Scholarship Ball. Uh, it will be held at Dover Downs Hotel and Casino, uh, the Rollins Center uh, Conference Area. Uh, from 5 to 11, we have a cocktail uh, reception at 5 o'clock, and then our actual ball starts at 6 until uh, 11 p.m. Wow, you know, uh, in past, this is an annual event, right? It is. Okay. In past events, you've had some really interesting featured performers there. Mm -hmm. Like last year, you had uh, you had B.B. Winans. Mm -hmm. uh, the year before that, you had Jennifer Holliday. And before that, you had the legendary Dionne Warwick. <laughs> what can people look forward to in terms of the performing artists that will be there? So this year, our featured artists, and I, I think a lot of our Christian friends are going to be very happy. Uh, we have Miss Yolanda Adams. Yes, indeed. Uh, will be our featured uh, artist. So as many may know, uh, Miss Adams is uh, the Billboard Magazine Artist of the uh, Decade, Gospel Artist of the Last Decade, uh, five-time Grammy Award winner, uh, host of the Yolanda Adams Morning Show, uh, author as well. So she has uh, a, a very strong background that I think uh, really will be a big draw and a big feature for us this year as our featured artist, as well as she will receive the President's Legacy uh, Award as well. Well, it sounds like at least for a portion of this scholarship, but we're going to have church. I believe we will. I All believe right. we will. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Of course, the main purpose of this is to raise scholarship dollars. Why is this important? A large majority of the students that attend Delaware State University are uh, first-generation students. Um, and so with that, uh, probably 92% of our students are dependent on some type of financial aid assistance in order to stay in school. Um, last year, in terms of just the success, the scholarship ball was really uh, a, a big reason for us to be able to award uh, almost 400 students uh, scholarships. Uh, so this is our biggest fundraiser, uh, our really big fundraiser, our premier fundraiser uh, for the year in terms of making sure we can take away as many barriers as possible for students to be able to uh, come to Delaware State, but be able to stay in Delaware State to re, uh, graduate and go on to make their mark uh, on the world as well. Mm -hmm. So we have a performing artist that's going to be there, Yolanda Adams. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, other activities there. This is usually a pretty fun event, from what I recall from past years. We try to ha make it as fun as possible. We have uh, our, our auction. We look to do a live auction this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some other activities that's planned within the evening as as well. It never hurts that we uh, have a nice meal for, for our guests as well. Uh, so it'll be a lot of fun. We do have a band that will be performing at the end of the evening, uh, the Panama Band. Uh, that's really, really good. That's known uh, throughout the, uh, the region. So that'll be the dancing portion. That will be the dancing right. portion. That will be, the, uh, the I guess, the, the non-church dancing. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that either. Okay. But there, there's also the opportunity. It, 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 my re recollection of this event is that it's a pretty diverse crowd. And while we have a good contingent of people there that uh, are from Delaware State University or connected with Delaware State University, we have a lot of people from the community out there too, don't, don't we? We do, and, and as you know, diversity is very important to the university. Uh, so we actually have a segment that we are Community Partners Awards uh, that will, we have members that will be receiving that uh, also. Uh, so in past years, we've really celebrated uh, some of our corporate partners, our alumni partners, our community partners. So we've uh, awarded some of our corporate partners, so like, like Barclays uh, Bank have received it in the past. Um, we've res uh, awarded to uh, some of our local legislators, uh, legislators, uh, Bushweller. Yeah, Senator uh, Bushweller. Senator Bushweller, he's a recent recipient, um, as well as several alumni uh, that mm -hmm. received. Actually, last year, uh, Dr. Ulysses Washington uh, was a recipient as well. So we really try to celebrate 
all of our community and business uh, and alumni who really gone over and beyond to really help Delaware State be as successful as it is. So tell me this, okay. if a person wants to attend the scholarship ball or if they have a conflict in their schedule in which they can't <laughs> attend but they want to support what we're doing here in terms of raising scholarship dollars, what should people do? So they can go on our website, uh, www.desu.edu, and they can do a backslash PSB, which is just the acronym for the President's Scholarship Ball. And they can find all of the information for tickets. Tickets uh, right now for individuals are 125. After November 1, they will go up to 150. Uh, but we have several different options, sponsorships available, uh, tables uh, that's available. But we do have it set up so where if someone cannot make it and they just want to support uh, the students here and support what we're doing at Delaware State University, mm -hmm. they can make a donation or they can buy tables. Uh, tables they can buy for $2,500, a table of 10. Um, and they can donate seats as well. So they can buy a table and donate seats to students or uh, other individuals who want to attend and support but may not necessarily be able to financially. Mm -hmm. Of course, they call this the President's Scholarship Ball, so we would be remiss if we didn't mention Dr. Harry Lee Williams, who is the 10th president of Delaware State University and uh, is the host. Absolutely. Of this. He's, he's the host along with his family. And they will all be in attendance too. They will, yes. Well, LaShawn, I really appreciate you coming on here and uh, helping us out with this. Now, th th one more question, though. Uh, is this a black tie affair? It is a black tie affair. So it's uh, the fine, guys for, uh, fine gowns for the ladies and uh, tuxedos uh, for, for the gentlemen. But if folks don't have tuxedos, they can still attend this. We're right? not going to turn anybody away if they don't have a tuxedo. All so right. nice All suit and, and, and dress uh, for ladies is, works just fine. But we want everybody to really come to support a great cause, which is the students for Delaware State University. And have a good time, right? And have a good time. Yeah. Are you wearing a tuxedo? I will be wearing a tuxedo. I'm going to wear a tuxedo. So, right, so we'll both have tuxedos. We, we're going to see which one of us is styling the best that night. Okay? Well, you wear the top hat. <laughs> I don't do top hats. LaShawn, thank you so much for being on the show and bringing thank us you. up to speed on the President's Scholarship Ball, which once again is taking place um, on December 9th from 5 to 11 at the Dover Downs Hotel and Casino in the, uh, what's the name of the room? Uh, what's the Rollins Center? The, the Rollins Center. Center, the Conference Center. And uh, I believe at the bottom of the screen here, there's some guidance as to the website that you can go to, or the web page on DSU's website, where you can go, where you can register for the, uh, for the uh, President's Scholarship Ball, or if you want to contribute some money, there's, some, there's a way for you to do it through that web page as well. Just, LaShawn, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for and having me. And thank you for joining us for another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. Everyone have a good day.